so where's the last kid at? Here community spawned after I... Check that way. Maybe I can ask Lilith because anybody know his whereabouts. That would be an idea I can do. It's great we're all back together. Hi, Kate. Now my belly is stuffed, and I'm feeling much better. Thank you for helping me, Kay. I know that not all that is said about you is true. Please keep searching. Yeah, just need to find the third kid. So yeah, still more out there. I'll find him. Just gotta think where he could be. I think I checked all of the houses. Okay. Oh. Do you see these walls? They are called oh, reflection I didn't go up walls. Right. First, you have to jump onto one of these walls. Then, you have to jump again at the right moment to jump from one wall to another. Give it a try. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that is awesome. Yeah. So cool. I forgot I didn't check a three yet. So the third kid's my favorite part. Mate, have you heard? I heard that Borax attacked our village. You know, Sonny, far as I can recall, that's the first time he's ever done that. If we follow the way, then we'd set forth to find out what's behind the gate there. Yes, yes, in olden times, we would have done that. Now I get it. I'm on the way. <laughs> okay. <gasps> There he is, I see the third kid. Yeah! Oh, cool. And here's the third kid. What would you think about a nice warm bowl of milk by the fire? Like at home? Hmm? <laughs> a warm bowl of milk. That sounds great. And afterwards, I can tumble around with my brothers. Good idea, Kay. Thanks. That's all. What is over this? Okay. I can ask you. Okay. 
I got the best price. Alright, so let's go hand the quest with the mom and three cats, and then we can continue the story, because I think we've done all of the quests we can do in this town for now. I think we've done everything we can do, so yeah, we're probably about to move on with the actual story. Uh, let's see, our house was right here. Everybody's back safe and sound, Tang Moo. Okay, I am so happy. Thank you very much for helping me. Here's your reward. Ooh, a heart container. This is a valuable present. This is a heart container. It will raise your stamina up one. Fuck yeah. Wow, that was worth it. Thank you. Yeah! Wow, dude, doing quests was actually worth it. Shoot, it wasn't like a waste of, a waste of time. I actually got a heart piece. That's pretty sweet. Alright. Save that. And let's go talk to Nyester. lessons. Is it true? You really fought Borax? Yes, Master. Suddenly he was just there and attacked me. I fought like a tiger, but with the wooden sword, I couldn't defeat a butterfly. Strong. Yes, of course. And your training. You still have much to learn. Okay. Let's build your fighting strength with some new combat techniques. First, I'll show you how to defend yourself. Block strikes. But you have to turn into the direction of the attacker. Pay attention as I attack. Subtleties. You can do a very powerful attack from a somersault. Oh, I love this, this move. This is a particularly powerful attack to use on an opponent who is lying on the floor. I love this attack. Love that move. Great. You're getting better and better. Take this as a reward. This is a magic point container. With this, your magical power increases. You might not know much about your magical powers, but be patient. I will induct you into the art of magic. Okay, I think you are now ready to learn a special tactic. The combo attack. Hey. You see that? That's a demon Zhong. Those are the urns cast from the damned souls that are forever trapped inside. If you destroy a demon Zhong, you gain the power of the demons for a while. And you can move very quickly. There are demon Zhongs made out of wood, stone, and metal. You have to hit the wooden ones only once to set the demon's power free. The stone and metal ones have to be hit more often. Destroy the Zhong. For every Zhong you destroy, you gain a combo level. The higher your combo level, the longer you stay in combo mode, and the stronger your attacks. <laughs> when you are in combo mode, you can make a combo move to the next Zhang and destroy it. To open this chest, you need a three-hit combo. Okay. You 
should try to execute the combo moves and the next attack very quickly, one after another. That way, you can blend them into one smooth motion. Try it. Okay. This is a precious item, an extra life. Take care that you always have a good number of extra lives. This will be very useful to you. Okay, please get me the bottle of nettle mead from up there. As you can see, you can't reach them the normal way. Use the power of the Zhang. But don't be disappointed if you don't get it at once. Be patient with yourself. Focus your chi, and your striving will be crowned with success. All right. Destroy the Zhang and move between them. Be quick about it. When the feel for the right moment isn't in you, you will fall to the ground. But don't worry, the Zhang will reappear. I hope you understand that you can move from one Zhang to the next through the air. a lot. Of course, this was only a test. We are not at the end of your lesson yet. Okay. Now, we will work on the use of your magical abilities. These can be especially helpful when you have to stand your ground against stronger opponents. You see the small bottle over there? Should your magical powers run out, its contents will serve you well. Gather magical energy. The energy discharges and detracts life energy from all opponents around you. But bear in mind, when you don't have magical energy, you can't do a magic attack. For every magic attack, you need at least five magic points. Mm. Just try it with these statues once. I wish all of my pupils were as talented as you. Okay, this is your reward. This is a berserk potion. It increases your strength for a limited amount of time. Okay, your training is nearly finished. But there is one last test. Oh? You have to go to the cliff. Using the Zhang there, you have to win a fight against me. This time, I will be imitating the rat's tactics. Go ahead. I'll follow. All right. Here I come. Ah, 
Somebody's full of strength and determination there. Count on that, did you? You were magnificent, but I let you win. If that's true, Master, then I want to continue training at once. <laughs> now, try some of the moves on your own. Attack. I hereby order this terrorist training camp what? to be closed, shuttered, and forever made safe for democracy. Training for hostile attacks on gorillas and rats has been observed here, and this will not be tolerated. At this time, I'd like to introduce a man who needs no introduction. Am I on? Can you hear me now? Mm -hmm. I'd like to thank you, Ren, for his warm introduction. Now, it's easy to see how the island of Yanqing has already been transformed by the advanced and benign technology of the rats and gorillas. Naysayers see only destruction and colonialism. I see schools opening up all over Yanqing. Good din schools, not that weirdo Mr. Wacko stuff of the way. But seriously, folks... Down with it! Down with tech! It's our school! We want it back! A terrorist! Get him, boys! It's okay. It's okay. We'll shut this school down. It doesn't matter anymore. You just give in like that? Ah, uh, what are you gonna do? Take it easy, kid. Mm. I got a date with a bottle of nettle meat. Master is an old myth himself, and he drinks too much nettle meat. Suling was right. I should have wised up a long time ago. Tomorrow, the sun will rise on a warrior. Mm. Why can't we play outside the village anymore? I told you, it's too dangerous. That's why we built the wall. No, the gorillas built the wall to trap us in here forever and ever and ever. Shh. Go to sleep now. Chapter complete. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. <laughs> Who are you hiding from? A horde of rats just stormed through again. Damned rats. 
Where are they headed, do you think? I think they're on their way to the hair tree. Their leader is supposed to be there. Tack is his name. But be wary. It's crawling with these monsters and very perilous. Yeah, Tack's the cheese ball I'm looking for. I'm off to the hair tree. All right, that's where we're going. Uh oh. Welcome to my shop. Have, have we already met? <laughs> my humble enterprise always offers good prices. So have a look around. <laughs> I have a lot of useful things, like the tip of the day, for example. Always helpful <laughs> and sometimes profitable. <laughs> I'll definitely get this. Buy yourself a new hot container. Thank you. Sure, why not? Give me a tip of the day. That's actually. Bombs! Never leave home without one. That'd be when the one. fuse catches, you should get away quickly. Otherwise. You need help? I'll sell you the tip of the day. It will help you to advance. Nah, don't get that yet. We're good. Let's go. Whoa. What the? Where'd you come from? Heck if I know. It was pretty dark in here and creepy. How'd you get in there in the first place? I remember buying a demon potion from the shopkeeper, and then I drank it here and saw a magic portal. I was curious, of course, and just kind of went through. Why don't you try it, too? Okay, I got my demon potion. Welcome to my shop. Have, have we already met? See the demon gates? Oh, you can purchase this demon potion which enabled you to see demon portals, which are normally hidden to your eyes for 10 seconds. Yep. Let's see something here. How do I use my items, though? I wonder. Yeah! Perhaps a second up, but... For my own good. Right. Yeah. Look, Ratty. Tax made a huge mistake. I gotta talk to him. Tax yeah. makes no mistake. No speak with you. Go home, Whippy Furball. That better place for you. Too dangerous here. Yeah, right. Try and stop me, rodent boy. Thank 
you. a good place to stop it for today. Basically, my friends start to act up, so we're gonna have these I've been recording for all, long enough. So next time, we'll continue here and back in the Enchanted Forest. Thanks for joining me, peoples. This is Cool as the Child Dragon, signing off.